Now, your flash briefing from Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Hello, I'm Dennis House. New developments in the death of George Floyd. There are upgraded charges against the officer seen kneeling on Floyd's neck for nearly nine minutes. Former Minneapolis officer Derek Chauvin is charged with second degree murder. He remains in police custody. The three other officers who stood by and did not intervene now face charges of aiding and abetting murder. The death has promoted protests and demands for racial equality around the country and right here in our state. Now to the very latest on coronavirus here in Connecticut. Here are the latest numbers. 112 people have tested positive in the past 24 hours. That's the lowest in months. 17 people passed away, which is also the lowest in several months. Hospitalizations are down 28 people and more than 5,800 tests were performed. Big news for local schools and colleges. On Wednesday, the governor announced that in-person graduation ceremonies can be held beginning July 6th. However, they will look much different than in the past. On the 6th, the limits on gatherings will be 150. So, for example, Farmington has a senior class of more than 300. The ceremony will have to be cut into two. It'll look a lot like a drive-in movie theater with seniors coming in cars to the polo grounds. They'll have assigned parking, listen to the ceremony in the car, and when it's time to get their diploma, well, they'll drive up to the podium, get their diploma through the window. We have worked tirelessly over the past few weeks to make sure and ensure that this graduation ceremony is special to Farmington and creates memories for graduates, parents, and residents that will not be forgotten. Governor did say this is not mandatory. All districts are expected to work with their local health districts to formulate a plan. Well, your Thursday is going to be a warm day, but a sunny day, and the humidity will drop. Temperatures will likely reach as high as 86. Friday and Saturday, warm and humid. Highs in the 80s. Both days, a chance for a shower or a storm. And then Sunday, a refreshing day, partly to mostly sunny and breezy with much lower humidity. Lows in the 50s and highs in the 70s. Monday looks fantastic. And then we'll see temperatures rise back into the 80s Tuesday and Wednesday, but with plenty of sunshine and the humidity should remain fairly low. There's going to be some nice, comfortable nights in there as well with lows in the 50s.